Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get a static IP address today. This is something that uh, someone asked me how to do, so I'm going to go ahead and show it. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up your command prompt. You can go to run or type in CMD in your search bar down here for Vista 7. Just type in CMD and OK. You should get this black box, don't worry, it's nothing bad. And you want to type, hold on, let me fix the screen so you can see it. Now you want to type ipconfig slash all. It's going to give you a lot of information, but don't worry. You're going to need it all. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to your computer, or er, your control panel, I'm sorry. A little slow tonight. Kind of tired. All right, and um, you want to go to your network connections, and then from there you want to go to your wireless network connection. It's going to pull this up. Then you want to go to your properties, and then another window will pull up, and you're going to want to go down here to where it says Internet Protocol TCP slash IP, and you're going to want to click properties. Okay, now this is where the slight amount of confusion happens. You're going to want to open up your command prompt window and make sure you can see both of these. Now what you're going to want to do is yours is most likely going to look like this right here. You're going to want to click use the following IP address and it's going to let you type in all these boxes. So what you do is you go in here and you find your IP address for the first box which for me is 192.168.1.0.9 And the next one, if you type that in, it will automatically enter that for you because it knows which class you have. And the next one is default gateway. Again, you just come down here, match it up. Uh, you can see it's 192.168.0.1, just a basic IP. The next thing is you want to click um, use the following DNS server addresses if you don't already have it and you're gonna see right in here on your command prompt where it shows two IP addresses right here or DNS servers I'm sorry you're gonna see those two and those are the two you're gonna want to enter so you're gonna type in you know what I have but you type in what you have but you know what I mean Okay, then you go down to the next one. And then you click OK. And it'll give you a message, and you're OK with that message. You press accept or something like that, and then you're done. You can close out of here. It may take a little while because it's saving all those settings. And then you close. You can close out your command prompt. And that is how you get a static IP address. It's, it's very, very easy, and I hope you have no troubles doing so. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. You know, Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you.